Hey guys, Harsh here, back in the video. So again, uh, home automation for you guys today, but this time with the Node MCU over here. So I basically made this project with the ESP32 version as well. So if you want to check that video out, I'll just link it in the description box below. So basically in this video, it is the same as that one. We have a relay over here, which will control four of your appliances and you can control it via this dashboard over here. So let me just turn those off real quickly. So as you can see, all the appliances are now off with the relay module and you can turn them on basically with the phone or basically any device with a web browser in it so this is also a very simple project there is no coding required at all you can just download a few application and those application will do all the stuff for you so without wasting any time let's get started now in this type of relay module each re individual relay had total of three terminals connected to them so this relay will have these three terminals this relay has these three terminals and then so on we have terminals corresponding to their relays and you can see that each one of them have this uh, sort of lines going in between them so i'm going to explain just one and rest are the same with this one so you can see that we have this line coming out and this line coming out and then going straightly into this one over here so that means when the relay is off just like in this case the connection between these two terminals is closed that means if you try to pass electricity to them it will pass through this is what we call a normally closed connection but when we turn on the relay the switch will throw on the other side and connect these two terminals together this is what we call a normally open connection so whenever the relay is turned on the connection between these two will be closed and electricity will pass through them so for this particular example we are going to use these two terminals over here Same Similarly in this case for this relay we will be using these two terminals and so on for all four. Now there is one other term which is the common terminal which is the middle pin of every relay. So this generally holds the output in a relay. So each one of our LED will go through the middle terminals of each individual relay and then our power can go to each relay normally open connection. And for that I have made this harness over here which makes the connection a bit easier. So let me just uh, connect them and show you how they work. So this is going to be our main power input as you can see I've connected all together in a single one. So this will supply power to our board. Then we can take our appliances or LED in this case and connect the inputs for each one of them in the common terminals and then each one of these grounds can be connected together just like so and then connected to the ground of the power supply. So the connection between the appliances is also done. Okay, so now let's connect our Node MCU to the relay module. So first of all, we need to power up the relay module. And for that, I will be using the V in pin, which is right over here as you can see, and the ground. So the V in pin will directly supply the power through the USB port, which is going to be 5 volts. And that is because 3.3 volts is not enough for this relay. It can only power up two relays, not all four. So I will need to use that. So let's just quickly connect those. So V in we'll go into the VCC which is the rightmost pin as you can see we'll connect it there then we'll take the ground which is right next to the V in pin and connect it to the ground on the relay module on the far left as you can see now we need to connect our inputs so as you know on the node MCU the actual markings on this are not the GPIO representation of the pins over here so for this instance D3 is going to be GPIO pin number 0 so I will first find D3 I think it's right over there as you can see this is going to be a GPIO pin number 0 and it will control our relay input 1 as you can see we will connect GPIO pin number 2 which is going to be D4 and connect it to input 2 over here then we are going to use the D2 pin which is GPIO pin number 4 and use it for input 3 and then lastly use D1 which is going to be GPIO pin number 5 and connect it to input 4. So as you can see our connection is now made. Now all you have to do is just head over to a computer, program it with the Tasmotizer application. I have already made a video on it, how you can do it. So it is a very simple 5 minute process, just follow that. And once you have everything installed in it, we can head to our web server with the IP address and configure it. Okay, so here I am on the dashboard and as you can see, I am accessing it via the local IP address. Now what we have to do is just go ahead and click on the configuration tool and click on configure module. The module type is set at generic 18. So just make sure that it is the same case as yours. So as you know, D3 is our GPIO 0. It is going to be set as relay. And in this case, I am setting it as relay inverse because for some reason, the zeros and ones are flipped in this particular 
case i don't know why so just select that then we have the gpr pin number two also set as relay inverse and then four and five also will be set at relay now as you can see they are all set at one don't do that because there will be only one button on the dashboard which will turn on and off all the relays at once so just change them to the numbers that you need accordingly so just like so so first relay will be our gpi 0 second will be our gpi 2 third will be gpi 4 and fourth will be gpi 5 and once you are happy with the button you can just go ahead and click on save it will automatically restart the ide and direct you back to the main menu so as you can see now we get all our buttons here so we can toggle on and off the relays from here okay so now i have everything powered up and connected the esp is powered by the usb cable over here and I have the task motor dashboard over here as you can see so if I take the relay over here and toggle the switches you can see that they turn on in the serial order which is quite nice as well and basically you can turn them on and off in any order you like you can see the LED is glowing there and the ticking sound as well I have not actually connected the power supply because that is just for the demonstration purpose so that is guys that's how you can create an easy simple home automation project with your node mcu and the task motor web server without any coding skills required so thanks for watching the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it and if you have any doubts or comments regarding this video you can comment down below i will try to respond to them as soon as possible so as always i will catch you all in the next one